We are back on the source and the vaccine is here. Some positive news here in Niagara, even as we face tighter restrictions with the province's emergency order. The vaccine, the Pfizer vaccine, arrived on Tuesday, escorted by police to Niagara Health. Here to talk about that, we have the president and interim CEO of Niagara Health, Lynn Guerrero. Now this shipment is for the first phase and this will primarily be used to inoculate healthcare workers, am I right? Healthcare workers, as well as residents of long-term care and some of our higher risk retirement homes. How many people will this vaccine serve? So this shipment, we've been um, allocated at least three weeks of supply. So this whole thing will repeat again for the next two weeks. Um, over that period of three weeks, we know we're receiving over 11,000 doses. And so we will be using um, those doses to focus on residents in, in uh, long-term care, as well as uh, frontline healthcare workers in the hospital and also in long-term care. Niagara Region Public Health is picking up vaccine from us every morning and taking that vaccine out with um, very small mobile teams. Those teams are helping staff and long-term care residents go to all of their residents and vaccinate, vaccinate residents on site in long-term care. So that's, that's how the two organizations have divvied out responsibility and that way we can go faster, which is critical here, faster the better. Can I assume that that began on Wednesday? We're going as fast as we can, but we're working out, making sure we work out all the bugs of our first day, um, obviously in the clinic and keeping people a safe distance apart, obviously um, going into long-term care and making sure that the teams are running smoothly. Over the coming days, sort of Thursday, Friday and up, we're gonna be ramping up very quickly and, and doing more per day. Do healthcare workers have the option to say, no, I'm not comfortable getting the vaccine? What happens if that arises? That's fine. If um, any individual, whether they're, whether they're uh, a healthcare worker or someone in the community, any individual can decline getting the vaccine. We are really hoping that people will listen to the science, listen to the experts. We really encourage, for obvious reasons, our staff and our physicians to be vaccinated, of course. We, we expect that there to be a very high uptake of vaccine, that there will be lots of public education campaign about this vaccine to make sure people are comfortable making that decision. Lynn, when will the next shipment of the Pfizer vaccine arrive? Well, we have been told to plan for uh, additional volume every single week thereafter. So we've been given an allocation in writing for week one, week two, week three. Um, we expect this week we'll get another allocation for week four and so on and so on. So we've been told to use that sort of methodology for our planning, for planning purposes. But until we actually get those um, emails and confirmation from Pfizer, we can't uh, schedule people. Lynn, a delay in the delivery of the Moderna vaccine has been announced. How will that affect the distribution of the vaccine in the Niagara area? The Moderna vaccine is such that it can be stored at public health and it can be delivered directly to them. So once we get Moderna, it can go much faster and much more efficiently in long-term care. I'm not entirely sure when we will get Moderna. Um, at this point in time, we have to remember that our communities in the north and our communities that are more rural, who don't have the luxury of having a big hospital close by, can't really use Pfizer uh, appropriately. So we, we do have to make sure that um, the communities that are better served by Moderna have access to those initial doses. This vaccine that started Wednesday, this will be just the first dose. So when will those people receive their second dose of the vaccine? So right now, um, we are scheduling people for their second dose. When someone comes in for their vaccine or a resident who's being uh, vaccinated in long-term care, it will automatically get an appointment or be rescheduled for uh, 21 days. There's no plan to not give second doses. So someone like myself, member of the general public, I can't expect a vaccine for myself here in Niagara until approximately August? We've made some estimates just based on, you know, the provincial planning framework, uh, which populations based on this risk framework and priority populations are going first, second, third, fourth, et cetera, in sequence. Um, and we've made those projections with uh, many assumptions around volume of vaccine that we're going to receive. So yeah, that's what we're thinking, the general population, uh, the time frame for them. But again, it could be sooner, it could be later, just depending on um, how we sort of manage our supply and, and how much we get from the provincial government. The numbers here in Niagara during the second wave have been quite alarming, higher than they ever were in the first wave. 
How soon with the rollout of this vaccine will we see a reduction in the current numbers? We've seen uh, quite an increase in Niagara. The, the hospital itself, we hit an all-time high, 93 patients, uh, inpatients at the, on any given day. In contrast, in our first wave, our highest was 34. The other thing that's been very different this wave is the hospital has suffered a number of outbreaks. And so currently, as of today, right now, there are out eight different units in outbreak. When that happens, those, site, those units have to be close to admission, and many staff have to be home on isolation. So what it means is, as you see those cases increasing in the community and you see those numbers going up, it really does put our acute care hospital services at risk for everyone in the community, not just those with COVID, but anyone who needs the hospital. So it, it is a very troubling scenario in Niagara.